What's up guys, JV here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this card, the 87 overall Baker Mayfield and Madden 19 Ultimate Team. Um, as soon as I saw that this card was available and that you didn't have to pay a single coin to get him, I was excited and I knew, okay, I need to do what I need to do to grind this out so I can start playing him come release. Um, first of all, I'm a Browns fan, so that helps. But secondly, he's the number one overall pick and uh, he's a little bit quicker than what you might think. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to show you guys what his card numbers look like. Um, so he's got the 76 speed, which we know is more than enough to play outside the pocket, play on the play action game, get outside the pocket, scramble when you may need to, and so on and so forth. He's got the 88 throw power, 86 throw um, accuracy short, 81 mid, 78 deep ball, and 85 throw under pressure, which is very nice as well when obviously you need to do the play action. And then his throw on the run is an 86, and his play action game is an 83. So I think this is an overall really, really, really balanced card um, with some decent speed. Obviously, he's you know he's a Cleveland Brown, which helps my case. Um, but he's also he's free to get, so you can get him by just grinding out some solos. Um, and I'm going to show you which uh, which solos here, right here, um, right now. So give me a second. Okay, so the first thing you do need to know is is you cannot unlock this rookie gauntlet which is what you need to do to get the baker mayfield until you're a level 20 overall so if you look up in the top right screen it says 27 next to my uh the mutt level bar that's what mutt level you you know you'll currently be at i think you start off at a 10 um but it did take a little time for me to get from 10 to 20 um like i said i i, I completed everything i needed to do in one day um it took me about 12 hours give or take maybe 13 um, to get Baker Mayfield. But the hardest part is getting yourself from mutt level 10 to 20. The, you can you can jump up levels and you can you can receive more XP um, by playing solos, by playing mutt head to head games, mutt draft. Anything that you play on, on Madden Ultimate Team will get you XP um, except for the Chronicles of Longshot. I played the Chronicles of Longshot yesterday, which is what you see on the right of the gauntlet. Um, I didn't get any XP for that, but anything else you play in Madden Ultimate Team, you will receive XP for, and that XP will, in return, get you to level 20. So the first thing you have to remember is you have to get to level 20. Um, once you do get to level 20, you will unlock the Rookie Gauntlet, and there will be 65 solos. I know that sounds like a lot, but a lot of these are really easy, guys. Um, so I'll go on to the passing one. This one, for example, says pass for a TD from one yard out. Simple. You get into the game, you throw one pass, boom, the mission's done. Um, more times than not, they're just quick and easy ones, one play. Um, I am going to show you guys two tough ones that I I, I want to just warn you guys about now, and I'm going to give you plays to which I think will help you. So if you scroll down all the way to the rushing ladder, you need to rush from our TD 60 yards out on one play. Um, for me, the two plays that worked really, really well were halfback counters of sorts, or if you're playing the computer on rookie, which I am here, reverse plays. Uh, reverse plays with your slot receiver and such. For whatever reason, it tricks the computer. Um, those are good ones. I'll come down to the rushing countdown. And this is the one that took me a little bit. It, each one of these might have taken me 5-10 minutes uh, as just repeating plays to figure it out. You have to rush for 99 yards on one play. Rush for 99 yards on two plays. And rush for 99 yards on four plays. Um, these ones... Required a little bit of luck. He did have to break a tackle here and there, you know, elude uh, elude tacklers and, and take it all the way to the end zone. But once again, like I said, halfback counters and um, reverse plays. They did seem to work well for me. Shout out to those people in my Twitch chat who, uh, who gave me the info on that. And then when it's all said and done, you have these last four solos here, or five solos here, correct? Um, yes, it is five solos. These are actual full games. It's on rookie, so they're not hard at all. But you do have to play five full games. Once those five full games are completed, um, you'll receive other coins to get you to the Baker Mayfield. All right. Um, also, you do not need to do all 65 to get Baker Mayfield. Doing all 65s will get you actually a second card. They have a, a list of five rookies you can choose from. One of them was Baker Mayfield. Um, the other ones I will put in another video maybe. Um... But to get Baker Mayfield, I do I had to do all the passing ladders, the one rushing ladder. So there's two passing. This passing ladder, the passing countdown, the rushing ladder, and then I did the kicking ladder. Those four incomplete is what got me Baker Mayfield. Um, so hopefully that helps you guys. The kicking's one. The kicking one is easy. These are just field goals. So if you have a decent enough kicker, boom, you can knock those out quickly. Um, but I hope that helps guys um, Like I said, you need to get to a level 20 first once you get to level 20 you unlock the rookie gauntlet you complete um, the two passing gauntlets 
the kicking gauntlet and the first rushing gauntlet, that will be enough to get you Baker Mayfield. And I highly suggest you guys get him. And like I said, he's free, no coins, all said and done. It'll be easy for you guys. Um, so for those of you guys who are playing without putting any money into the game, I would suggest you to do that. But hey, thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I hope this video helps you guys. And I will be back with more content uh, here in the next 24 hours or so. Appreciate you guys. See you.